happy morning my dear school friends once again i welcome you all to this uh, youtube class before we to start my class let me say thanks to those students who have comment on the class definitely i will take uh, uh, those suggestions uh, as in sportive manner and i welcome i always welcome your uh, comments because i also learning uh, this kind of uh, medium of instruction means uh, that uh, online class or youtube classes kind of are uh, the what we call that uh, audio video classes from your uh, comments i will be complete uh, package okay so i can uh, address the students uh, in the audio visual classes with uh, uh, sound uh, clarity okay so for that uh, i need to say or I, I, i am saying here thanks to my dear student friends those who have commented so one thing i would like to say here that please comment uh, on the comment section after the watching a class don't uh, comment before the watching a class so after the uh, watching class what do you felt no so just uh, mention in that uh, comment section so that we can improve ourselves uh, in our previous class we have completed uh, that first chapter that is introduction okay so from that chapter we will have uh, meager or a few marks uh, questions that's why it is not that much of important uh, chapter although we have to uh, <coughs> learn or we have to understand uh, that chapter uh, for uh, for to understand uh, the next chapter concepts or next chapters or upcoming uh, chapters because i have said you these chapters are interrelated so that the second chapter which is based on first chapter like the third chapter which is based on second chapter that's why we have to understand uh, the previous chapters so without understanding the previous chapter we cannot uh, understand the next chapter so that's why please understand uh, the chapters so that you can easily understand uh, the future or upcoming or the next uh, chapters okay so if we see the concepts uh, which kept in this uh, collection of data kind of second chapter such as introduction okay here they have said uh, why we need to why need we need to collect uh, the data so after collecting uh, after collecting the data what kind of uh, advantage we get or how that uh, uh, data helps us that is what we understand in this introduction of concept what are the sources of uh, data so we have understood that uh, we have to collect it means uh, in the introductory uh, concept we have understood that so we need to collect uh, the data for the this purpose kind of we will understand thereafter what are the sources of data it means uh, where this data avails okay where this data we can get so that is what we learn here okay there are two kinds of uh, uh, sources of data we can find such are primary data source and the other one is secondary data source okay so such kind of sources uh, which we can find in this uh, statistics come at third concept that is how do we collect uh, the data okay means uh, <coughs> here we learn uh, how we collect uh, this data okay uh, generally we collect this data from the survey method okay so that is a, a prime or a major or uh, what we call that uh, general uh, using a method that, method that is survey method through that the method we are collecting uh, uh, we can collect the data that is what we learn here there after preparation of good uh, questionnaires see in that uh, question uh, in that survey method we use uh, or uh, we uh, take uh, or we form uh, one kind of uh, questionnaire okay through that questionnaire we collect the data so what are the qualities of the good questionnaires good questionnaire that is what uh, we learn in this uh, fourth concept that is preparation of good questionnaire there are various kinds of points which we have to keep in our mind while preparing that questionnaire okay thereafter mode of uh, data collection we have prepared here questionnaire then how we have to collect uh, that uh, data okay there are various kinds of uh, methods or are modes through those kinds of modes uh, we can collect the data there are three kinds of or uh, mainly three kinds of uh, modes such as personal interview telephone interview and mailing questionnaire so through these kinds of uh, uh, modes we can collect the data 
those we will see later they are after types of uh, samples see so we have prepared we we have we understood that so some data and why we need to collect that data and uh, uh, how to collect those data thereafter specify the respondents without specifying we cannot uh, able to conduct uh, that uh, research or that work in a soft or in a easier manner we have to choose uh, the respondents or uh, from where uh, we have to collect the data it means uh, from whom we have to collect uh, the data first we have to specify that okay for that uh, we have to consult for samples or uh, we can categorize the samples uh, in two ways like random sampling and non random sampling means uh, here how do we have how do we or how we have to choose the respondents okay through these kinds of methods uh, we can choose the respondents okay uh, if we uh, if we take or if we choose that random sampling there uh, we can choose uh, the respondents uh, in a random manner it means uh, however we want no so like uh, we can pick or we can choose the samples are our respondents in that non random sampling we have many kinds of uh, uh, methods through those kinds of methods uh, we can choose the our respondents okay we can give examples as lottery method okay in that lottery method we can choose the our samples it means our respondents are that snowball method that snowball method means in that by using the snowball method uh, we can choose our respondent or uh, the samples okay that is what uh, we learn here sampling and non sampling uh, error means uh, while choosing a uh, samples or while choosing a uh, sample size means uh, while choosing a uh, number of uh, respondents while choosing uh, the respondents uh, we, we we attain certain kinds of uh, problems such kind of problems uh, we see this uh, sampling errors and non sampling errors kind of uh, concept thereafter last concept that is census of india and nsso yes here we learn uh, the meaning of the census and uh, the census of india means uh, uh, when we started that census kind of uh, uh, process till uh, 2011 how many census we have collected or how many census uh, document uh, we have prepared what kind of uh, concepts comes under this uh, census kind of uh, <coughs> concept <coughs> that we learn there after nsso it means uh, national sample survey organization so here we learn what purpose this census sample survey uh, national sample survey organization has we established and uh, when uh, uh, this national sample survey organization is presenting its uh, document so that is what we learn here so later we will learn uh, what more uh, we are conducting uh, in this so let us take the first concept that is introduction so here and we have said about uh, why we need to uh, why we need to collect the data okay in our previous chapter we have understood the meaning of economy and the role of statistics in economics yes this is what we have understood no so what is the mean of the meaning of the economy and what is the role of the statistics in in uh, economics okay so uh, maybe you are recalling uh, the role of the statistics in economics means uh, that helps us to understand the problem that is the first kind of uh, important the importance uh, which we get from that uh, statistics and the same statistics uh, which helps us to make uh, inferences which helps us to prepare, prepare uh, uh, the remedial measures to certain uh, economic uh, problems the same statistics uh, which helps us to predict the economic phenomena or uh, economic uh, situations the same uh, uh, statistics which helps us to see the relationship between the variables like uh, various kinds of uh, helps or importance uh, which we understood uh, in our previous uh, chapter from studying this cha second chapter means uh, from st studying this collection of data we understand the purpose of data collection see after studying this chapter we uh, come to know that uh, the purpose of uh, data collection along with that sources of data mode of data collection distinctions between census and sample survey techniques of 
of sampling and last some important sources of secondary data so this is what we learn uh, after completion of this uh, second chapter okay let us uh, address on uh, why we need to study this uh, or why we need to collect uh, the data okay the purpose of data collection is to see evidence for reaching a sound and clear solution see here so why we need why we need to collect the data yes we need to collect the data because to see the evidence for reaching sound and clear solutions yes if without uh, the data we cannot get uh, the clue or evidence and we cannot uh, get uh, uh, we cannot able to make uh, solutions uh, to those problems okay, that's why we need to collect uh, this data okay facts without data or facts we cannot uh, able to get sound and clear solutions with uh, uh, if we are having a uh, data related to that uh, certain problems we can easily <coughs> get uh, what actually uh, problem that is and uh, we can frame or we can have certain uh, measures or we can construct uh, certain measures to clear or to resolve or to solve uh, that economic or some other problems so that is what uh, uh, for that reason we have to collect the data okay Let, i have given uh, an example to uh, more understand for example according to census document indian population in 2001 was 102 crores and in 2011 it was 121 crores yes so here after seeing this statement we can understand that our population which was increased from 2001 to 2011 how do you make this kind of inference how do you understood uh, like this because of the data or because of the facts okay there we have used uh, facts or the data like 102 crores in 2001 121 crores in 2011 so by seeing uh, by comparing uh, the data uh, we came to know that uh, yes our population was increased from 102 crores to 121 crores so from 2001 to 2011 so that is what uh, i have said later since in a in a above sentence statement we can find facts or data we can make a clear inference that indian population has increased see this is what is the beauty of uh, the data okay once add the data so we can easily make uh, or we can easily understand uh, what kind of problem that is and what uh, uh, what kind of uh, situation is having in that uh, economy so that is what uh, the beauty of uh, this statistics okay yes let us come at uh, second concept that is what are the sources of uh, data yes we understood uh, why we need to why we need needs to collect the data why we need to collect this data to understand uh, the problem to make uh, remedial measures to see the clear picture of that uh, problem we need to collect the data without uh, data we cannot uh, understand the problem of that economy or that situation and we cannot be able to frame or we cannot be able to form the remedial measures okay, that's why we need to collect the data then where those data avails where those data we can get okay, there are two kinds of uh, sources of data from those, those sources uh, we can collect the data such are primary data and secondary data okay, there are two kinds of uh, sources of data such are primary data and secondary data so let us understand uh, what is primary data and uh, what kind of methods uh, we use uh, to collect uh, the data yeah. so let me clear here what is primary data primary data means the data which are collected from the enumerator by the conducting uh, an inquiry or investigation such kind of data are called primary data okay so here enumerator means uh, the a person who collects the data if i am studying uh, the social economic change in household so at that time i may call it enumerator because i am collecting the data no that's why so uh, i have to collect the data no that's why i may call as 
enumerators. Okay, so there are various kinds of methods of a primary data collection: personal interview, telephone interview, and mailing questionnaire. So these are the three kinds of uh, are three ways of uh, primary data collection. Okay, so here this kind of uh, method has its own kind of uh, drawbacks. Means uh, it expects uh, more time because we have to go uh, at uh, where our response, uh, our respondent uh, reside, reside. Okay, it means uh, so here uh, <coughs> we are uh, what we call that. So in this uh, primary data, we have to go uh, there uh, where our respondent uh, reside or where the, our respondent uh, avails. Okay, that's why it uh, expects more time, more cost. Because if uh, my respondent is residing uh, residing in uh, America, so I have to go uh, <coughs> uh, to America, no, to to go, uh, to travel America or to go um, to to visit uh, my respondent. Uh, I have to go by plane, no. So that plane expects uh, money, no. So that's why the, this primary data kind of uh, which uh, is more expensive kind of, or it expects uh, cost. Along with that, it expects. Uh, expert or trained enumerator see to conduct that primary data or to conduct that uh, primary survey or to get that primary data we need to have that expert or trained enumerators so that is what uh, the drawback of this uh, primary data okay so let us take the second kind of uh, source of uh, data that is secondary data so here the data have been collected and processed by some other agency or person such kind of data are called secondary data means here the data which are collected so which we take no or which we use no such kind of data are called second data means this kind of data are already collected by the somebody else Okay, such kind of data are called secondary data. It means uh, this data which we 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 usually not uh, collect. So this which which already collected by somebody else and uh, processed, which already made uh, work on that uh, data. Such kind of data are called uh, secondary data. Okay, such data are called uh, secondary data. The data can be obtained from published sources such as government uh, documents, newspapers. Books which written by economists, journals, thesis or dissertation of uh, scholars, a website. See, uh, if we found or if we had uh, the data from these kinds of sources, such kind of data are called secondary data because those data are collected by somebody else and uh, the data which are processed by somebody else are the data which are collected and processed by some other person, no, or agencies, no, or institutions, no. That's why. Uh, such data are called uh, secondary data okay so can give example to the secondary data as census document so that, that census document uh, whatever the data we find in that census document now such uh, data are collected by the <coughs> some government uh, officials that's why uh, we can call that kind of data are secondary data which we which we usually not uh, collect that's why those are the secondary data like NSSO reports that NSSO it means uh, whatever the data comes in that uh, uh, report no so those data are collected by that agency and processed by that uh, agency that's why we have to call that data are called and the rest of the concepts like uh, how do we collect the data and the preparation of the questionnaires like uh, various concepts uh, are kept uh, in this uh, second chapter those we will uh, see in our upcoming classes Hope you have understood uh, the class, whatever uh, the class, whatever we have discussed in our uh, today's class. And uh, don't forget uh, to comment uh, on the comment box. I always welcome your fruitful uh, comments. Please.